Right, hello. Um, this is practically going to be a little bit about Easter. It's Easter Sunday, and uh, I don't know what traditions are which, but there's lots of things to do with Jesus Christ and things when it comes to Easter. We've had a joke come in, or my mum did on our phone about it, but I can't remember what it was now. But the point of this one is that I'd like to point out that I don't normally get Easter eggs. Or I'm not a really big fan of getting Easter eggs because generally I don't normally eat them. But I have got a couple of Easter eggs and I'm going to show you basically what I've got. Well, I'm going to show you basically two Easter eggs or one Easter egg and something that I've got. And this is basically, I have a Kit Kat Chunky Easter egg. Now, Easter eggs would be nice if you could have a new invention where instead of having the, the um, shell, now, basically, um, I'm going to open this because I just fancy showing you, you know, the fancy box that it comes in. You do, in an Easter egg in England, you always get a bar of chocolate or two so with it. In this case, a Kit Kat chunky. Mmm, mmm. They are not. They are not the. They are not the greatest in the world. I mean, I prefer a, a normal two stick, four stick Kit Kat because they are the invention of like, my God. Hmm. But you get an egg, like that, and wouldn't it be nice if one of these could come in the form of chocolate with say biscuit? If they could do it how they do an uh, 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 one of these, or a two stick Kit Kat, I would be like thinking that's the invention but they don't. Most Easter eggs that you buy for some reason, no matter what they are, most of them come with actually just the chocolate. And it's quite a strange because it's the way they've done it. You buy an Easter egg and whatever you want you buy, whether it's a Rolo Easter egg, whether it's Toffee Crisp Easter egg, whether it's Kit Kat Aero, Flake, Cadbury, whatever it is you buy, you guarantee that most of them will have what is just a normal plain milk chocolate thing, egg like that. Even though that you might get um, a, a, a bar of chocolate that's not necessarily got just chocolate in it because Rolo has toffee and things like Twix has the biscuit Twix. And, you know, but generally most of them don't have practically, um, it, it's the fact that they all have a different, um, thing in the chocolate bar, but they don't do the in the, in the Easter egg bit. I don't know whether they can actually do that or not, I'm not sure, but anyway. Interesting that we've, um, got a Kit Kat chunky Easter egg, which I've opened. Even though I'm not going to be eating any of it yet, but that's just my own my own thing. And my personal favourite, three little Kinder eggs. Because Kinder chocolate is the nicest chocolate. Although, mind you, when it comes to... Um, we're going to call these Easter eggs because it's got more to do with Easter eggs than anything else, but... Basically, I'm a little bit confused over it because it's actually made by... It's actually supposed to be German chocolate. Now, reading up though, I did read that it's not actually... Um, it's made by an Italian company. An Italian chocolate company. I know, I know. Yeah, it's just... It, it's confusing whether it's German or Italian because it... Because it, 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 Kinder, Kinder actually means um, children in... Um, in... Uh, Germany. Yet, despite the fact that it is supposed to be German chocolate, it's actually made by a company based in Italy. Um, basically, who do the chocolate. Um, the company name being Ferrero. You, Fer, Ferrero. Mind you though, although this one's actually in, in England, but the Ferrero company or whatever is, back, is based in Italy and obviously licensed to around the world but what I don't understand is why why even the most 
interest that Kinder is called is for children in Germany because I understand that buying a Kinder egg might well be children's egg, children egg with a little toy inside it. That's that's fine, right? But what I don't get is when they actually say, but you can buy Kinder chocolate, like a bar of Kinder chocolate, just Kinder chocolate, or 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 a bar of Kinder Bueno, which is like chocolate with um, it doesn't say, but it's it's um, oh, um, we've got kid. Oh no, it doesn't say on the back here. We've got Kinder chocolate mini treats, Kinder chocolate bones, milky bites, Kinder chocolate snack bar, and a Kinder happy hippo, and Kinder Bueno. But why call it Kinder Bueno? or possibly even say Kinder Chocolate Snack Bar when it's actually not aimed at the kids this is a bar of chocolate that the Germans would have but it's not really a kids chocolate I mean you imagine what it's like translated in translated in, in England would be like Children Bueno not Kinder Bueno Children Bueno but why would children want to eat a chocolate that isn't really marketed or aimed to them I don't know why, I don't know why they do that, because it ain't really, I mean, I don't think a Kinder Bueno is, is aimed at children. When you buy a bar of that, it looks just like a normal bar of chocolate that is aimed purely at the, um, the upper market. I mean, they do that with, like, like when you buy, um, there's no difference to basically buying cabbage chocolate and things like that, because basically it's interesting, because when you buy a, a bar of cabbage dairy milk, right, it's made as if it's aimed at old pe older people. Not children, it's not it's not a children based thing but older people. Yet you can buy animal um wildlife bar a wildlife bar from Cadbury's. You can buy Cadbury's chocolate buttons and things like that, which are made exact they're exactly the same as as dairy milk chocolate. They're exactly the same as dairy milk chocolate bar but the fact is they're aimed at kids. They've been produced and packaged as if kids would eat them like cabbage buttons you'd expect the kids to go out and buy and eat them. Yeah, it's just, it's just the same chocolate but they've made it and aimed it at kids in the same way as a wildlife one. They did that with basically Nestle's. If you buy Nestle's animal bar people are going to say why do you eat an animal bar? It's practically a kiss chocolate. People say it's a kiss chocolate, and you know. Ah, uh, but it's not. It, it, the only reason why it's aimed at kids is because they've actually made it into like a kiss chocolate by by calling it animal bar, putting animal designs on it, and having some kind of wrapper that's like a kiss chocolate bar wrapper. It's no different chocolate to a normal nestle bar of chocolate milk chocolate yeah anyway we'll leave it there because we don't want to keep talking about chocolate it just makes me hungry and I've got a little flake to eat <gasps> ooh chocolate flakes ah uh, yes yes the fact um quickly 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 go on to this one chocolate flakes you know the weird thing about chocolate flakes is when you go to the supermarket, how you can go into the into the supermarket and buy chocolate flakes, packs of like um, four or five, or if you want to buy one flake on its own, you buy them at the kiosk, and right. But when you want a box of flakes that you put in an ice cream, or you get an ice cream from an ice cream man, and it's a 99 and it's got chocolate flakes in it, or one chocolate flake in it, you can buy a box of them which are normally mini ones, which is something like that. Probably a little bit bigger. You generally get you generally get them in a box. But where do they sell them in the supermarket? You'd, you'd expect them to be in the chocolate area, just like when you buy a pack of chocolate flakes or five. No. What? Weird. They sell them. They sell them in the section where the ice cream cones are and where the 
maple syrup in and things like that. There you go. Just a little weird thing. Oh, 